Did not see that coming. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be my review of the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 102, the season 2 finale, and I gotta be honest with you guys, the end of this episode, I did not see coming. Um, the last two episodes were fantastic, um, made me really excited for 102, but when we got to this episode, I sat there and I was like, that was not what I was expecting to happen at all. But um, yeah, quite a bit happened in this episode and at risk of further rambling, let's talk about it. So first of all, we continue where we left off last week, the rush duel between Yuamu and Udius. And Yuamu is thinking that she is going to have to become Otis to protect Yuga. And that turns out to not actually happen. Uh, spoiler alert. The rush duel goes on. Yuamu surprises the heck out of everybody by fusion summoning a new fusion monster off of Seven's Road's Witch. And she actually used a fusion material for this. And uh, this throws Udius off. He's able to save himself by the skin of his teeth. Ultimately, though, the episode concludes, or the duel, I guess I should say, concludes with Yuamu losing. Um, she feels bad about this, but then the question becomes, what are we going to do about Yuga? And they end up, Yuamu, Yuhi, Udius, and everybody else that's there, ends up strapping Yuga back into the rocket that he blasted off from, and ends up sending him back through the temporal warp back to his time, or forward to his own time, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, there's, uh, you know, time travel is always something tricky. The anime really has a hard time getting right. Uh, most of the time it either is fantastic or it makes absolutely no sense at all, or it's done horribly. Um, this just kind of didn't make much sense. And even the characters point out that they're like, is this even possible? Because this isn't making any sense. But they send Yuga forward into the temporal warp, but not before Yuamu gives Yuga a hug and basically says, my sweet child, which I hope they get give more explanation on just how Yuhi and Yuamu are related to Yuga before the end of this series. Um, whether that actually happens or not, I can't really say. Now that Yuga is gone, I suspect that it's probably not going to be touched on again in Season 3, but I really would like to have this explained by the end of the series, just kind of on a side note. Um, so Yuga is sent back, and after Yuga is sent off, Yuamu disappears. Um, they Basically, she's there one second, Yuga disappears into the temporal warp, they turn around, and Yuamu's gone. All that's there are her glasses. Um, and we also get an interaction between Udius and the memory of Quidal, where Quidal basically says, I've ran it time and time again. Monster Reborn just is not capable of reviving the Valgarians like they thought, which kind of was the springboard for this entire ordeal. Um, this, of course, is distraughting to Udius, but, um, I mean, it is what it is. Um... Side note and shameless plug here, unless you are a certain character that's taking place in my fan fictions, um, Monster Reborn just can't bring people back from the dead. Um, shameless plug over fan fiction is linked in the description down below if you guys want to get what I'm getting at with that. Um, shameless plug over, back to the episode. So now the question becomes, where is Yuamu? And Udius ends up getting ready to take off into space to go search for Yuamu. Um, basically, everybody's like, we're counting on you. And Yuhi and Epoch show up at the very last second. And they announce that they're going with Udius. And the hunt is on across the galaxy for Yuamu. And that is where the season finale leaves off. So yeah, there was a lot in this episode. I did not see the finale we got coming. But overall, I can't say that I'm upset with it. I just hope that there's more elaboration done before the end of this series. But yeah, overall, these last three episodes were all fantastic put together. Uh, this episode, standing alone, though, 
I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um, but if you want to rank all three of the episodes together, I would probably bump this up to a 9.5 out of 10. It gets very difficult to get great season finales in Yu-Gi-Oh! But I think this one was a fantastic one, to be honest with you, point blank. But again, those are just my thoughts. And as always, I want to hear yours. So in the comment section down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts were. Did you love this arc? Did you hate it? What were your thoughts on these last three episodes? Just let me know in the comment section down below, because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone, as always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.